Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the third, fourth, whatever. Uh, the timing is fluid in this reading is not science specific. We're going to get two of these, then we're going to use this deck right over here. Okay, so we're going to get two of these for an overall energy. What do we got for the next message to be delivered? Somebody is going to be receiving some news because I just see the Eight of Wands. So there's going to be news arriving very swiftly. Uh, something to do, uh, it could have to do with a father figure because I just saw the Hierophant reverse. Somebody that is an authority that is an, abusing their power. Uh, uh, Somebody that is questioning their authority. It could have to do with this person that is an authoritative figure. Who thinks they're an authoritative figure? Oh, the emperor. Okay, so that's what I was meant to say. Okay, because this is somebody who thinks that they're the boss. They could be the boss. Could be a father. Interesting. I was seeing the hair font, but this is definitely has may have something to do with the father. Uh, somebody that is a somebody that this person could be a businessman. This person is definitely a leader, a boss, uh, an authoritative figure. So we do have an energy of um, somebody could be making a deal. You notice somebody sticking their hand out, getting ready to shake hands, making a deal. Somebody could be striking up a deal. This is a very masculine energy who uses their head, not their heart. Um, this, we have somebody here that, um, it takes control, is self-motivating. This person is some sort of master. Um, it could be dealing with an Aries, doesn't have to be. This person is the boss or thinks that they're the boss, likes to be the boss. Um, it looks like it's striking up some sort of deal. You know, making a deal. So somebody is trying to strike up a deal with somebody. Um, <laughs> this person has already done their homework by the looks of s things. Now this can be anybody. This doesn't have to be a masculine. This is somebody that is taking on a masculine energy. They're ready to fight for whatever they they want. They're willing to do whatever it takes to get what they want. The emperor, um, this could be a judge. This is a ruler or something. This is definitely somebody in authority. Could, definitely could be a father, could be a husband. This could be a business owner. This could be the president. of a company. Um, you notice the family in the background. There's, there's a picture of the family, but the family isn't around. So it's something, you know, this person focuses more on their um, image and they focus more on their money and they focus more on uh, everything other than their family. Okay, their family is not their main focus. I mean, that is the truth with this person. This person's family is not their main focus. Their job, getting the job done, striking up deals, um, showing their status, you know, keeping their status, that's their main focus. So th there's going to be a message that comes in, news or something in regards of, to this person. Okay, one more card. The star. Now this is a card of protection. It's a card of hope. But in this deck, it looks like these people are crying. They're running away. This could... What the heck is this? i got to take my glasses off for a second. This could be somebody... It feels to me like this could be somebody that has passed away. That is coming to the aid. Coming to help. Take a look at that card. This is somebody that is from the heavens. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like this is somebody from heaven that is coming to help. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. 
there's some sort of destruction. People are begging. It's like, it, and this person is coming to the aid. They're coming to the aid. They're coming to help. Say there has been some sort of destruction. And this is somebody that is coming to assist. And I think it's somebody that has passed away. If it's not, there's this, you notice this is rubble. Okay. There's rubble. This is like, there's rubble. If you look at the card really deeply, look at the background. Okay. If you look at the background right there, there's, there's rubble. There's something that has happened. There's some sort of destruction. There's, there's people that are hurt. And this is like your savior or something like that. This is somebody coming to help. So this is also a card of hope. It's a card of inspiration. It's a card of healing. This is also a heavenly card. So I really feel like this has something to do with somebody that has passed away that is coming to help, which is interesting. This could, uh, this has something to do with a badge. I just happened to focus on that badge, which is a star. Yes, but something to do with the badge. Um... And you notice they both have their hands out. This one has a hand out and this one has a hand out. So it's like they're both reaching for each other, which is interesting. This is a wish being granted with the star card. This is guaranteed success, getting what you want. This person is striking up a deal and it's like they're going to get what they asked for. When somebody is going to get what they asked for. The deal is going to be accepted. What do we got? What do we got? Knight of Cups reversed. Nine of Coins reversed. The Tower. Of course, we got the tower. That makes sense, doesn't it? So this is a rude awakening. This is a wake-up call. This is the light being shed on a situation. This is something crumbling. This is a collapse. This is a major disruption. This is a shocking explosion. And this is, like I said, there's rubble here. So something may explode. Okay, somebody is sitting at their desk. Just be careful. I don't know where you work. Or what or what now somebody could be sitting at their desk and there is some sort of explosion I hate to scare people I'm not trying to scare anybody but you need to be careful okay oh my god you know what I keep I thought I, I saw what I you know was like the twin towers when I looked at this card we all know what that was so just be very and this is an explosion and this is a tower okay so okay all right, so just be careful. I'll be careful. Um, it is 2020, and I'm just here to say that you need to be careful. Anyhow, um, the tower is a, a shock. Okay, it's a shock. It's a destruction that needs to happen. Okay, this is this is universally driven. It may not be explainable, but it is, happens for a reason. This is a life change. This is a cleansing. This is a purging. You never saw it coming when you get the tower. It's like something is going to happen that you never saw coming. Now, the nine of pentacles in reverse is you must take action. This is great personal fear and, and worry. Okay, with the nine of pentacles, this is insecure, a need for discipline. Uh, this is somebody who can't really take care. They could be at work. And, you know, I just feel like this has something to do with being at work. This is lack of, of stability, lack of security. We have a lazy individual that is needs to pick themselves up. Uh, the Knight of Cups, somebody is in reverse, is in an emotionally unfulfilling situation where there's no reciprocation, there's no relationship growth. Uh, there's not a lot of love there. There's no emotional support. They're not emotionally invested in it. It may have looked real good at the beginning, but it doesn't pay off. Okay. And maybe that's why this needs to crumble. Maybe somebody's in a dead end job and you got to, you know, whatever the case is, we have some sort of destruction that is about to happen. It could cost some money. It could make somebody feel really insecure and unstable. This, per this, the nine of pentacles reverse is a is instability 
It's insecure. It's somebody who doesn't put in effort. Somebody who can't take care of themselves. Somebody who doesn't want to do it alone. Um, but this is disruption of some sort. The fool. The fool reversed. Uh, this is definitely fear. Fear. Uh, needing to take a risk. Needing to go your own way. Somebody has been staying in a false relationship. Whether it's at work. Or at home or something. And their their fear is holding them there. They, they're afraid to be alone. Or they're afraid to start their own business. They're afraid to go someplace else. So they're staying in this false sense of security. Uh, but there's somebody from above, I think, that is helping. Absolutely. I believe that 100%. With this Fool card reverse, there's some sort of bad timing, though. And there's a lack of judgment with the Fool reverse. Somebody may not have looked before they left, left, or they may uh, run into something, or they may get themselves in trouble because they're not, uh, their eyes are not opened. They're not seeing. They're not seeing something. They're acting recklessly. They're being naive. They're acting foolishly. Interesting. This is foolish behavior with the fool reversed. Now this is not prepared for what is about to happen somebody is not prepared and i am not trying to scare anybody but you somebody is seriously not prepared for what is about to happen okay i'm not sure what is going to happen and i'm sure there's a lot of people that are on their edge of the seat their seats at one at this point but um you know, with this with this three of wands reversed, it's like you you seriously are not gonna. This is like not seeing the opportunities. This is not seeing what is about to happen. You're never gonna see it coming. I'm telling you what. Something is gonna happen. There's gonna be a. There's gonna be an explosion, or there's something is going to happen, and it's going to be a shock. Okay. Um. Somebody may be left single. Okay, and you and you and you didn't expect it. You were in a relationship with the Knight of Cups rever uh, reverse, and now you're no longer in a relationship. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, because this is very sudden, all of a sudden, you're single. Um. <laughs> Maybe that's what somebody asked for. Maybe that's what they asked, because this is getting what you asked for. The star card. This is a card of healing. It's also a card of renewal. And this is, an, this is a card of heaven and protection. This will bring peace of mind. Okay? Because this is peace. But this has to happen to find that peace. The lovers, we have the end of a false contract here. The lovers reverse is the false contract. A contract is coming to an end, and somebody stro stru may have struck up a deal, and now and now and this deal was false because this is false and this is false. It was a false contract from the beginning. There's going to be some disconnection or disharmony or a separation. There, we have a separation here. There's no doubt about it. I'm sure of it. And it's going to happen very, very, very suddenly. And it's going to be quite shocking. Now, separation can happen. It doesn't have to be between lovers. It's between two people. Two people that have been in each other's lives. Period. And this is somebody is leaving. And that's what I got. And it doesn't, and I don't know who this person is, but it is somebody that is close. There's a broken relationship that somebody is detaching from. That is what we have here. Shine some light on the situation. Whew. Somebody has been in a situation that is, is, there's no harmony, there's no peace. It's very disruptive anyway. Oh my God, they're leaving without saying goodbye. This is no closure, no goodbye.
This is major, okay? Major, 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 major. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six majors. This is the journey to balance and harmony. Somebody has been too materialistically focused and they're about to get a spiritual wake-up call that is going to force them to get their life back on track. There's been a level of indecision and they've been unable to make a choice. But the universe is here to give them the kick in the ass that they've been waiting for. So be prepared. Don't bend over. Make sure that you look. Keep eyes in the back of your head. Because something is about to happen that is going to absolutely shock you. This is a major life change that needs to happen, courtesy of the universe. It's time to start with a clean slate. This is actually what you have been wishing for. It's what you've been asking for. It may not be delivered in the form that you are thinking it is going to be delivered in, but it's going to be delivered. And somebody is, is going to be uh, headed towards peace, harmony, happiness, and spiritual renewal. They're going to get their shine back. But they're not going to get their shine back. They're not going to get the, get back to their uh, who they need to be until they face this destruction. So somebody has been in a false relationship where there's a lack of emotional support. There's a lack of love. The very first card. And they've been fearful to take that step. They may have gotten into it impulsively. They got into it impulsively because it looked so good. The deal was too good to pass up, right? If it looks too good to be true, it is. Somebody is not prepared for what they're about, what is about to happen. They are probably hoping and wishing for the best, hoping that this was true, hoping that this offer was genuine. But whatever they were thinking, they were on the same page. The other person had some tricks up them, their sleeve. There's been some sort of delay, but the delay is over. We have two universe cards here. The universe is is in charge. And something is going to end, end abruptly. It's like somebody is being thrown out or they're going someplace else. There's a contract that is coming to an end. Pow, done. All of a sudden, it's going to be very... Uh, I think it's going to be painful. Okay, I think that when you hit that ground, it's going to hurt. I do. The light is being shed. There's no way out. And it's no no goodbye. I mean, the world is no goodbye. The world reversed. This is unfinished business. This is leaving. This is this is the end. Something ends without closure. Somebody has made a foolish move. Perhaps they thought, you know, it was all about the money. There's definitely materialistic, you know, for materialistic reasons here. Somebody did it for the, for the, you know, not for their family. Maybe they, maybe that was what they, you know, this is for my family, but you can't buy love. Anyhow, sorry about that. It's the truth. Somebody was too focused on materialistic world and they let their family, you know, suffer. And I feel like now the universe is going to give them the rude awakening. <laughs> of a lifetime. Yeah. So anyway, uh, <laughs> suddenly single. suddenly on your own. This contract isn't long-term. It's not valid. It's not meant to be. There's no connect. There's a disconnection. There's disharmony. It's not realistic. Okay. It's just, there's, it's not, it's too many arguments. There's no, it's over.
now it's a time of healing. It's a time of peace. It's a time of... There is somebody that is coming to help. Somebody that will help you. They will help you to rebuild. They will help you to pick up the pieces. Somebody is coming to the rescue. I know that's what this is. Somebody is coming to help. They are going to come to help. And here we have... This is your hero. This is somebody coming to the rescue. I really feel like we have somebody that is going to come to the rescue. And they're going to help you. But before they arrive, there's going to be a major explosion or a major disruption that changes your life because that is what the tower is. This needs to happen because somebody's fear has stopped them <laughs> from doing what they love, from knowing what love is. Their materialistic ways as well. Somebody had the wrong way of living. There's no love in these cards. But when you hit rock bottom... When you hit the ground, you're going to wish that there was love. So anyway, I feel like somebody is, is leaving without saying goodbye. courtesy of the universe because there's no love here. Good luck.